Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is going over what I think is the best and my personal favorite shop plugin for your Bucket Minecraft server, Chest Shop, formerly known as the iEconomy Chest Shop. Now what you can do is users can create shops or you can create administrator shops. You can control all of this via permissions where users can buy and sell things which is also controllable and users can set their own prices, set their own sell prices and all kinds of fun things and there's other types of permissions and configuration things that go along with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little shop and while I do that in game I'm going to be talking about the configuration file. So let's get started on the config file. To get this plugin you're going to want to start out by going to the official bucket dev page scroll down and click on download. Once you're here you're going to want to go and click on the chestshop.jar link under file name. When you click that it should begin to download and you're going to want to click keep. Once you've done that you're going to install it like you would any other plugin by going into your plugin directory dragging and dropping the chestshop.jar into the plugin directory going back and then running your server once the server is done starting up, you can then proceed to stop your server and go into the plugins folder and go into chest shop. Here you're going to see some files. You're going to see a config, discounts, items, vocal, and the long name storage. The main thing we're going to focus on is the config. And here there is a very broad variety of options. The first one is the preferred economy plugin. So if you're not using Vault and you have, let's say, one or more economy plugins, you can set your preferred one. So this may come in handy if you don't have Vault and you're using Essentials and Iconomy. You're going to want to specify that you're using Iconomy. If not, you can just throw in Essentials. So to do that, you would just type in the name of the plugin you would like to use. Next we have the shop interaction interval which specifies how many times a player can use the how often a player can use the sign in a certain amount of time in one one thousandth of a second. And then we have ignore creative mode. Do you want to allow using shops to people in creative mode? You can set that as true. If you don't want that, you can set it as false. This will make it so if you left click you will buy something and if you right click you will sell something. It's usually the other way around. Next we have shift sells in stacks. Now what this will allow you to do is if you're holding shift it will allow players to buy and sell in 64 stack intervals while holding the crouch button. And then we have shift allow. This will set what you can do when you're selling in stacks. So currently it's set to all so you could either set to all, buying only, or selling only. And next we have allow sign chest open which will allow the owner of the shop to open the chest by right clicking the shop's sign. And then we have the allow left click destroying. If true, when you left click your own shop you won't open the chest inventory but instead you'll start destroying the sign. And then we have remove empty shops. If this is true, the if the shop becomes empty, the sign will be destroyed and placed into the chest. And then we have remove empty chests, which if true, the remove empty shops option is turned on. The chest will also be destroyed. And then we have the admin shop name, which we'll go over in just a sec when I get into the commands and actual buying and selling. This basically is the shop that isn't user ran. It is the shop that everybody can go to. It's the administrator shop so it's it can either be linked to an account, there can be a tax amount, and you can set it up however you want for the administrators to set up. So the server economy amount, the economy amount which swap signs would be used as all taxes to go into. So you can set ta taxes, server tax amount, shop curation price so you can make it so creating shops cost money and you can set a shop refund price how much money you'll get back when destroying a sign if you pay to curate it. And this next option does exactly what it says. Block shops with sell price higher than buy price. You can set that as true or false. And you could allow multiple shops at one block, true or false. Allow partial transactions which 
which is can shops be used even when the seller doesn't have enough items the price will be scaled adequately to the items amount and we're almost done we have the show message out of stock show transition information client show transition information owner so these two will just say if you bought or sold something and if somebody bought or sold something this just tells you if the uh, shop is out of stock and then all of this is logging so you can log to a file log to console log to a database record a time to live uh, stack to 64 so if you want items to stack to 64 within the chest built-in protection so this will make it so people cannot destroy your shops if you're using some other protection system you can turn that off but I recommend you keeping this on stick signs to chest so this will actually stick the sign to the chest instead of having it above the chest or wherever you place it turn off the default protection when protected externally that's exactly what it says turn off sign protection you can turn that off or on protect chest with LWC, protect sign with LWC. So if you have LWC, it will just uh, redirect the protection to that plugin. Uh, generate statistics page. So this, if this is true, the plugin will generate a shop statistics web page, and then it will give you the directory to the web page, and then what interval it is updated. Here you can do townie integration, so you can turn that off or on and townie shops for owners only. You can set that. You can integrate world guard, so you can do world guard flags and use world guard protection. And then we have heroes experience, so how much heroes experience do people get for creating a shop? If you have heroes, you can set that to whatever you want. So that is the base config. When you're all done, you're just going to want to save that and proceed to the next step. The next thing is the discount, so if I click on that, this file is for discount management. You are able to do that. And you can set group how much ever. That means the person with chest shot discount group one permission will only have to pay 75% of the price. For example, if something is priced at $100, the player only has to pay $75. And this only works in buy only admin shops. So that is for if you have a special group that you want or a donor group that you want to be able to get things cheaper. You can set that with that. When you're all done with that, you're going to want to save it and then proceed to the next step. The very last thing that I'm not going to really get into is the local. And what this is, is configuring the messages that are displayed. For example, this shows you the prefix and the item info. You have the access denied, so you do not have permission to do that. Not enough money, you don't have enough money. Not enough money shop, the owner does not have enough money. And so on and so forth. You can customize all those as you please. And now that is about it for the configuring. When you're done, you're going to want to save all your files and restart your server. And now let's get back into the game where we are going to proceed to set up a shop and run some of the commands. Alright, so I've just finished creating my shop. Well, it's not the full shop, but it's something I can put my little shops in. So, let's start out by setting some chests for our chest shop. And what we're going to do to create a shop is place a sign above the chest like so. And if you're creating the shop just for you, you do not have to put anything in the first line. But the second line is going to be the amount of whatever item it is that you're buying or selling with the shop. So let's just say um, 10. So we're going to sell 10 of, and then the price, so you're going to put B for the buy price for how much people want to buy it from you for. So let's say I'm going to be selling um, grass for 10 whatever and I'm going to sell it for I'm going to let people sell it to me for a little bit cheaper obviously. So I'm going to do 5. And then I'm going to do grass because I want to be selling grass and when I hit done, it's going to add my name right there, 10, B10, cell 5, grass. So now I would, if I was somebody else, not me, because I can't buy or sell to myself, if I was somebody else, I would just come up and click on the sign to buy grass for 10 of however much, however much money you have, whatever money system you use. And I could right click to sell grass I have and receive 5 from the owner which is me if I were to be somebody else. So that's how that works. Now admin shops are a little bit different. You don't even need a chest for admin shops. So you just call it admin shop or whatever you have it set to. And then you're going to want to say, let's do five by for 20. And if you're doing an admin shop, I do not recommend selling items. 
in this if you want it to be the base economy of your server. So let's just do five cell. And these are just completely random numbers. You might want to really think about the numbers you use and how it will affect the economy in your server. And then do stone. So then it will say successfully created that shop. So now if I were to be anybody, I could go up and left click on this sign to buy things and right click to sell things. And as I talked about earlier, you can change that in the, um, in the plugins configuration file. So that is basically this plugin. There's, as I mentioned earlier, a ton of different configuration options. And it's very, very simple and it looks nice if you set up little shops like this. So that is about it. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And goodbye.